Hello everyone, it's Miss Cato coming to you from Code Ninjas and Smyrna Vinings. And I wanna share with you a quick way of how to download Scratch Junior on your computer. So the first thing you will need to do is use the link fileinfo.com slash extension slash SJR. And when that opens up, this file will appear and you can scroll down to the middle of the page. And if you have a Windows computer, you can click there. If you have a Mac, click there. Now, if you're already using a tablet or Android, just use the one that's already there in the system. These are just for the computer. So I have a Windows. I'm going to click on Windows and scroll down middle of the page, and you're going to download for Windows. Okay. Now, you can save this on your desktop or anywhere you prefer to, you know, download this application. I've already saved it and downloaded it, so I'm going to click cancel. Um, for you, you may see a box to the bottom left showing that when this is um, downloading, you can click there and say open when done. And when it's done, it's going to pop up a screen that looks similar to this because I've already downloaded and I selected that I'm working from home. Um, it's going to let me you know, work from home on this project, this program. So in the top left corner, I clicked on settings to select English language is what I would prefer. Now, in that top corner as well, you have some guidelines that's going to show you uh, information here at the bottom. Your interface guide, kind of give you a quick tutorial. If you click on each one of these, it'll show you like what each one of these uh, features will actually allow you or your child to complete or create. Now, if you want the paint editor, you know, this is a guide to show you how to use that as well. So just like we did with the other features, if you click on one, two, three, it's gonna show you each one of these at the bottom exactly what you're doing, okay? So you feel confident. Now, what about the blocks? If you click on the blocks guide, it's gonna teach you all about triggering blocks. You have your motion blocks. Um, and our juniors, they've been doing this at home. So some of them feel confident. Some of them, they may need to go back and get a refresher on the blocks itself. Sound blocks, if you need to record some sound, uh, if you want to control your time, uh, if you want to stop your speed and your in blocks, your loops, you can use all of that. So feel free to go through and um, review all of those blocks. So let's go back to home. We're going to create our first project. Click on the plus symbol and you're going to look to the top right when that opens up for that yellow little box right there. Click there and click on the green, uh, well, it's a check mark, not a green check mark, and you can name your project, okay? So this project will be named Sound Block, Soundboard, and I'm gonna say Mrs. Cato, Mrs. C, okay? And then I'll click on my check mark, all right? So as you go through and you're building the project, you're adding your characters, whichever character you like. If you want to drag it in there, create your character. If you want to design and draw your own character, you can pick the color that you want. If you want just uh, something simple or something complex where you have to freehand draw or uh, use the boxes, just explore all these different features. If you want to take an image or picture of something, you have all of these options to explore. Just be creative and go all out. And once that's done, um, because you cannot actually email it to us, we're going to ask for you to play your project. You're going to take your phone and you're going to record your game being played. So when you click that green flag, we can actually see your game. And you're going to save that on your phone. And you can email that to us, or you can drop it right in your class dojo to us. If you're emailing it, it's coming to Smyrna, GA at CodeNinjas.com. Have fun, guys, and we look forward to seeing your projects soon.